Now, it was never mentioned in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It was mentioned briefly, like really briefly, in one of the extended versions of the Hobbit movies. But Gandalf is actually wearing a ring of power. Like, he's always wearing it. Sometimes it's invisible because people aren't supposed to know about it, but trust me, it's there somewhere. The ring even has a name. Its name is Narya. Like all rings of power, Narya has some special powers attributed to it. It's described as having the power to inspire others to resist tyranny, dominion, and despair. Now, it's obviously not the most exciting power that I can think of, but it's very effective nonetheless. We can see this power exercised by Gandalf numerous times in the books and movies. Tyranny, dominion, and despair are all tools that Sauron used to take control over the people and beasts of Middle-earth. There can be no victory against Sauron or against the East was a common reason people gave to join him. We see it mentioned a bunch of times throughout the movies as well, including by Saruman. Having the ability to save people from the kind of despair that would convince them to join Sauron would probably be one of the best abilities you could have in the fight against him. Another power Narya gave to its user was that it was able to hide the wielder from remote observation, which means you can't spy on Gandalf using magic unless you had the One Ring. Narya also gave resistance to the weariness of time, just like the other two elven rings. It is thought that this is the reason why a hobbit named Jeronius Took lived to be over 130 years old. Gandalf was a good friend of his and may have used the ring to prolong his life. Though this has never really been proven, it's just one of the theories that's out there. It is also thought to have magical properties and powers of fire resistance. So Gandalf is actually immune to fire and heat. And the reason for this is either because he is a servant of the Lords of the West or the Valor, who are like gods basically, or because he is wielding Narya, the Ring of Power. I can't really find any convincing proof one way or the other as to which of those two theories it is. Whether it's because of the ring that he has that he's immune to those fire and heat, or because he's a servant of the Lords of the West. There are arguments on both sides of this. I don't know which one is correct. So this ring, Narya, was personally created by an elf named Celebrimbor. Celebrimbor also created the other two elvish rings of power. And if you've played either Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War, you're pretty familiar with Celebrimbor. It's this guy. So Celebrimbor gave the ring, Narya, to the elven high king, Gilgalad, who eventually gave it to Kirdan or Sirdan. Again, it's one of those names I don't know how to pronounce it. He gave it to this guy for safekeeping. Kirdan was one of the elves who you see in the opening scene of the Fellowship of the Ring when it talks about the one ring and three were given to the elf lords. Kirdan is one of those guys. So when Gandalf arrived in Middle Earth, Kirdan gave Gandalf his ring of power, Narya. Kirdan wanted to help Gandalf in his mission. That mission being to help the beings of Middle-earth resist Sauron. Some people believe that Narya enhanced Gandalf's power over fire, like in The Hobbit when he lights those pine cones on fire, but I haven't found any real evidence of that. That scene is likely just Gandalf's own power. Elrond said that the rings were not made as weapons of war, but rather to preserve and heal. So it seems unlikely that the ring would grant the user the ability to turn pine cones into fire bombs. Like I said earlier, the purpose of the ring was to help people resist dominion, tyranny, and despair, which was what Gandalf's purpose was in Middle-earth, was to help people overcome and resist Sauron. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. That'll really help me out. Also, if you want to be notified when I come out with new content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to help support the channel, I will leave a link to my Patreon page in the description below. 
Also, remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Anyway, have a great day. See ya.